The Etenda 4 and its successor, the Super Etenda, were not groundbreaking combat jets, but they served well. Especially the Super Etenda made a name as a fearsome ship hunter when coupled with the Exoze anti ship missiles. Today, we're investigating the Etenda family, which has proved that little ugly guys with no superior technology can make history. The Etenda 4 and the Super Etenda were the backbones of the carrier-based strike force of the French Navy for nearly half a century. Especially the Super Etenda in the South Atlantic hurt the Royal Navy painfully and disturbed the oil shipment in the Persian Gulf. They were not handsome superstars like Alain Delon. But these aircraft were one of the best not-so-beautiful character actors in French aviation history like Jean-Paul Bormando with a characteristic nose. The origin of this family of aircraft goes back to the Korean War. In this war in the Far East, the jet fighters had offered better combat capabilities than their piston-engined predecessors. But their growing weight and costs had also caused serious concerns among the Air Force staff. The risk of losing a few expensive and complex fighters deployed in several forward air bases in the early hours of a possible nuclear war was a nightmare. So, in April 1954, the Supreme Command of the Alliance issued the NATO Basic Military Requirement 1 and invited aviation companies to develop a lightweight strike fighter which would be light, small and equipped with basic weapons and avionics. The aircraft would have the British Bristol Orpheus engine whose development was also financed by NATO. The pact assessed the Italian RFS Sagittario II, the Fiat G91, the US Northrop N156 the French Berger BR-1001 Tau, Sudest Bardère, and Dassault Mystère 24. The last one, the Mystère 24, was basically a single-engined and 15% enlarged variant of Mystère 22. It had the Snecma Attar turbojet engine. So, Dassault also developed the Mystère 26, which can be described as a Mystère 24 variant with a Bristol Orpheus engine. Later, the Mister 22, Mister 24, and Mister 26 were renamed as Etendard 2, Etendard 4, and Etendard 6, respectively. The prototype of the Etendard 4 made its maiden flight on July 24, 1956. Initially, none of these efforts was fruitful. NATO rejected the Etendard 4 since it had not been equipped with the Bristol Orpheus engine. Even though the Etendard 6 fared well in trials, the G91 had superior performance and won the competition in 1958. The French Air Force also preferred the Mirage 3 instead of the Etendard 2 and Etendard 4. However, the French Navy had been interested in the carrier-based variant of the Etendard 4 since 1955. In 1957, Paris authorized the development of this version, called Etendard 4M, and ordered five pre-production aircraft for trials. The new variant has a strengthened airframe, deck landing hooks, additional high lift equipment, enhanced radar and navigation radars, and an Atar 8C engine. It made its maiden flight on May 21, 1958. The second prototype had a wing folding mechanism and an in flight refueling capability with a body system. The third aircraft, defined as the Etenda 4B, was fitted with a 49.82 kN Rolls-Royce Avon Mark 51 engine and blown flaps. The distinguishing feature of the Etenda 4M, the fin under the nose to suppress rolling, was added to the fourth prototype. One prototype was lost in an explosion during ground testing. So, France ordered the sixth aircraft. The seventh one was ordered and manufactured in September 1959 as the prototype of the reconnaissance variant, the Etenda 4B, which made its maiden flight on November 19, 1960. The first production aircraft flew on July 26, 1961 and was delivered to the French Navy for user trials at the end of that year. In 1962, the Etenda 4M was deployed aboard for the first time on both of the Clemenceau class aircraft carriers. FC Clemenceau and FC Forge and became operational. The French Navy ordered 69 Etenda 4Ms and 21 Etenda 4Ps. Later, four Etenda 4Ms were converted to reconnaissance variants 
to compensate for the Etendau 4P losses. These aircraft were defined as Etendau 4MP. The aircraft had highly swept wings with double slotted flaps and spoilers. They were foldable. Ailerons and leading edge droop flaps were powered. The Etendau 4M had a single Snecma Atar 08B turbojet engine, a variant of the Atar 09 of the Mirage 3. The main difference between them was that the first one did not have an afterburner. So, the Etendau 4M was not a supersonic aircraft and it could only exceed the sound barrier during the dive. It had a retractable nose-mounted refueling probe. Thanks to its IDA radar, infrared sensor and Saab-made bombing computer, the Etendau 4M could use air-to-surface missiles like the AS-20 and AS-30. But these early examples of air-to-surface missiles had a manual command-to-line-of-sight guidance system and short range. So, their effectiveness was insufficient. The Etendau 4P was similar to the 4M variant, but it didn't have a radar and 30mm cannons since the aircraft had 5 Umira cameras in the nose. Also, its refueling probe was non-retractable. The Etendau 4M and Etendau 4P were single-seat aircraft and no twin-seat training variant was developed. The French Navy was the only user of the aircraft. The Etendau 4M had a length of 14.35 meters, a wingspan of 9.6 meters and a height of 3.9 meters. Its wing area was 28.4 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight was about 5,900 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight was 10,200 kilograms. One 43.16 kN Snecma Atar 08B turbojet engine provided a top speed of 1,099 km per hour. Its service ceiling was 15,500 meters, in other words, 50,900 feet. The range of the aircraft was 3,000 km. The Etendau 4M had two 30mm Dofa 552 cannons. It had four hardpoints with 1,360 kg of bombs and rocket carrying capacity. The aircraft could carry AIM-9 Sidewinder and Matra Magic Air-to-Air, -Air, AS-30 and AS-20 air-to-surface missiles and bombs and rockets. In the late 1960s, the French Navy began to seek a replacement for the Etendau 4M. Initially, it evaluated the A7 Corsair II, A4 Skyhawk and the carrier-based M variant of the Jaguar. Paris almost instantly eliminated the first two options. During the trials, the Jaguar M suffered handling problems which would possibly be resolved with more investment. But the lobby efforts of Dassault, who desired to sell its own Super Etendau, gave result and France terminated the Jaguar M program in 1973. In the same year, the French Navy accepted the proposal of Dassault and ordered three prototypes. The first prototype was nothing but a modified Etendau 4M with Snecma Atar 8K50 turbojet engine and some new avionics. It made its maiden flight on October 28, 1974. After trials were completed, Dassault began the delivery of the Super Etendau to the Navy in 1978. Initially, France planned to acquire 100 aircraft, but due to budget cuts, the number was reduced to 71 later. The Super Etendard had a similar size and performance compared to its predecessor. It had an empty weight of 6,500 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 12,000 kg. The new 49 kN Snecma Atar 8K50 turbojet engine gave the aircraft a top speed of 1,205 km per hour. Unlike the Etendar 4M, the Super Etendar had two additional pylons under the fuselage and it could carry 2,100 kg of ordnance. The Super Etendar had the Agaev radar. Also, its onboard UAT-40 central computer managed most mission-critical systems, integrating navigational data and functions, radar information and display, and weapons targeting and controls. New avionics significantly increased the aircraft's combat capability. The Super Etenda could fire the Exosé anti-ship missiles. In the 1990s, 48 aircraft were fitted with the updated UAT-90 computer and the new Anemon radar. The range of the Anemon was nearly twice of the previous Agaev. Also, Dassault redesigned the cockpit with HOTAS controls. Initial production variants of the Super Etenda could send free-fall nuclear bombs. After the modernization, 
the aircraft could launch the ASMP ramjet-powered nuclear missiles. In the 2000s, the Super Etendals were modernized again and equipped with a more advanced self-defense suite and a new inertial data system partly integrating GPS. The cockpits became compatible with night vision glasses. And now, the Super Etendals could send guided munitions using illumination from the Democles laser designator pod. Argentina, France and Iraq were the users of the aircraft. During a photo reconnaissance mission over Lebanon on September 23, 1983, an Etendal 4P was hit by a 9K32 Strela 2 Manpads, whose NATO reporting name is SA-7 Grail. But the aircraft managed to return to the carrier FS Foch. In four days, it was repaired and flew back. On April 15, 1994, another Etendal 4P was hit by a surface-to-air missile in Bosnia and Herzegovina over Gorizde. The pilot managed to arrive the aircraft to FS Clemenceau. It returned back to duty after a month and a half of repairment in France. The French Navy also used its Etendal 4Ps during the 1999 Kosovo War. The Etendal 4M was retired in 1991, but the 4P variant remained operational until 2004. The Super Etendal had a more mediatic and adventurous combat career than its predecessor. When the Royal Navy arrived on the coast of the Falklands to retake the islands, the Argentine naval aviation had only four operational Super Etendals, but their impact was huge. On May 4, 1982, two Argentine Super Etendals, guided by a Lockheed P-2H Neptune, sent two exoses at HMS Sheffield. One missile crippled the British air defense destroyer. She was eventually abandoned and sunk. Another two Super Etendals hit SS Atlantic Conveyor with the Exosay missiles three weeks later. Lucky for the Brits, Argentina had only five Exosays. But also, lucky for the Argentines, the Royal Navy did not have airborne early warning capability. If it did, the Sea Harriers could have intercepted the Super Etendals before they could find a chance to fire their missiles. On May 17, 2023, Argentina announced its withdrawal from the service of the Super Etendal. Even though they were not as mediatic as their Argentine sisters, the French Super Etendals also fought gallantly. On September 22, 1983, they bombed and destroyed the Syrian artillery positions, which had shelled the French peacekeepers before. Nearly a month later, a Super Etendal destroyed an Islamic Amal training camp in Baal Abak. During the 1999 Kosovo War, the French Super Etendals performed 400 combat missions over Serbia. Also, they successfully fought over Afghanistan, Libya and Syria. The French Navy retired the Super Etendal on July 12, 2016. Iraq leased five Super Etendals in 1983. They performed many maritime strike missions against the Iranian oil shipment. Although Iran claims it shut down three Super Etendals, the French sources state that four aircraft were returned to France in 1985. The Etendal 4M and Super Etendal were never among the sexiest combat jets with superb capabilities. But they did their job well. The Super Etendal was one of the best launching platforms for the deadly Exosé anti-ship missile. The members of the Etendal family undoubtedly deserve to be mentioned as unforgettable legends. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.